in this video something about the final stage of my shortwave receiver. And I published the complete circuit earlier, say a few weeks ago or one week anyway. And now it is in its final stage. I've made a box of uh, plywood. By purpose, of course, because here on the other side of this plywood there is the antenna coil. And when I made it from steel, it has a very severe effect on the quality factor of that antenna coil. It damps the antenna coil and surely uh, you will hear nothing when you say inbox this whole circuit that I published in a complete metal uh, box. Anyway, uh, all the indications now are in Dutch, so shortwave receiver 6 to 12 megahertz. Uh, in fact, in this case it only works due to the uh, variable frequency oscillator around 6 megahertz and around say 9 megahertz, but that has to do with the, the VFO. So when you make an other VFO that oscillates say on 7 megahertz in that range, you can receive with this radio a radio stations around 7 megahertz and 10 megahertz VFO etc etc because the IF frequency is 453 as far as I can remember or 463 um, kilo cycles that means that um, the deviation between the VFO and the received frequency is uh, the IF frequency anyway uh, Antenna coil, high frequencies, low frequencies. Uh, here you see the high frequency amplification, the bandwidth of the IF uh, filter, tuning coarse potentiometer here, tuning a uh, fine potentiometer. With this switch, you can uh, say switch in small capacitor in the a parallel to the VFO coil that makes that the VFO uh, works lower, somewhat lower or somewhat higher, etc. Noise filter, audio level, loudspeaker, headphone, etc. I want to give kind of demonstration. I hope it will be somewhat um, lucky. We know, of course, that on shortwave. There are many, say, disturbing factors, man-made noise, and I've also uh, man-made noise in this radio. A kind of click sound, perhaps you can hear it, you will hear it. Uh, but I've also made an outdoor antenna, and that's here, to say, with coax cable, to say, uh, damp. That strange click sound anyway. There's a four meter long wire indoor antenna now at the moment here. And we are going to look on the low frequency bands around say six megahertz. Let's listen. When you think there is a lot of noise here, that has everything to do with two factors. The noise filter here is off and the bandwidth, the IF bandwidth of the IF amplifier is broad. That means that we hear more noise. I want to demonstrate it now by switching the IF bandwidth to a small bandwidth.
naar de noise filter. Less noise. With all these things on, let's tune to other station. Try to tune. When you switch on the noise filter and a small bandwidth, uh, the audio will say be pinched off around say 5 kilohertz or so. That means that the sound can be somewhat dull. Anyway, want to demonstrate that. Now I switch it off. And the constant weakening and going up of the radio uh, sound level has to do with fading, shortwave fading. I can't help that, of course, you can and make an uh, automatic volume control. I'm gonna make it with this radio in the future. But now it is without uh, AVC, uh, automatic volume control. That means that we hear the radio signal fade. This is a weak radio station from far away in the Netherlands. And of course you can ask, uh, does it help to lift up the high frequency amplification? Well, that's a problem. Uh, it doesn't always work because uh, sometimes you add so much noise you lift up the signal out of, say, a certain noise level on shortwave. And you also are, say, amplifying that noise level. And that what's hap is what's happening here. So the best result to say receive this radio station will be a perfect antenna and I cannot stress enough how important the antenna is. I'm listening now on a simple say uh, 4 meter wire inside my room but when you really want to receive a radio station from far away you, you need an antenna that is tuned to that specific radio station. In fact, and there is a broad, uh, there are broad possibilities uh, that, and then I mean you can tune with an antenna tuner, for instance. I've now not used an antenna tuner, but with an antenna tuner you can say lift out a weak radio station from far away out of the noise. And that's also an interesting thing. When you tune in to a radio station on shortwave, but you detune somewhat a little bit out of the central frequency where the radio station sends out its energy, you can make it more intelligible. And I want to demonstrate that now by tuning the fine tuning potentiometer. Now, 
So here it sounds dull. That means that the signal is in, say, uh, the, in the medium exactly on the medium frequency of the IF amplifier. But when we detune it somewhat, the sound gets more sharp. So here the signal is in fact too strong and by detuning you it gets somewhat more sharp. And that effect can also be reached by tuning the IF bandwidth. Let's look how that works. We now go to a broad bandwidth. Uh, you can surely hear that when we change the bandwidth of that IF amplifier, you get an other type of sound. The, uh, the audio range gets bigger and with the help of the noise filter you can filter the say extreme noise out. I switch the noise the noise filter off now. I want to try now the high F amplification, uh, whether it works or not. Uh, sometimes it does not work at all, but sometimes it works to get a radio station more, better, intelligible. It helps a little bit, but due to the fading, uh, there's not so much effect. But of course, when we turn the high frequency amplification completely down, you will receive nothing. So here is the optimum, approximately. And perhaps interesting, more interesting to tell that when we tune the uh, capacitor, the capacitor parallel to the the tank circuit here, it could have a, a, a very good effect so that the radio station can be received much more sharp. I'm going to do that now. Now it fades away a little bit. So here is, in a certain way, I have to stick in my hand here to tune this, to tune that uh, radio station to its maximum. Now it's more or less at its maximum. Another station. Has everything to do that I change the uh, parallel capacitance to the antenna coil somewhat.
and by changing the high F amplification you can get such a two feet radio station into proper reception. I think my camera will run out uh, in say a few minutes but anyway I will go on. This is a Russian station. Switch now to a small bandwidth. It's a noise filter. Now we are receiving uh, Radio China in a very, very fierce way, so it's distorted, etc. So I uh, diminish the high frequency amplification. And lift up the audio amplification here. Let's change the frequency somewhat. This is more or less unintelligible. And by changing the switching off the noise filter and uh, IF bandwidth.